This is the Saab J35XS, a Swedish 10.7 premium jet fighter that is extremely capable in the right hands. Compared to other aircraft it's fighting at its BR, it may not be the most advanced thing out there, but you should still be extremely careful around these. Luckily for many people, I'm not exactly the greatest pilot. Er, uh, wait, am I actually that bad? <clears throat> okay, anyways, beside that. In this video, I'm gonna be bringing this J-35 into air simulator battles. And, oh boy, it is quite an experience. Okay, so you're probably wondering what sim battles are. Sim battles are a great way to grind through air trees and also get a bunch of SL. Granted, you sit through the entire match. You know those EC maps you may occasionally get in Air Realistic? Well, imagine basically only getting to work with those maps in Air Sim, because that's basically what you're working with. You hop into your plane, turn the engines on, take off, fly around, do whatever you want, such as shoot down aircraft, take out ground targets, do whatever. And these matches can go on for a really, really long time, but if you're willing to sit through all that, you can get a bunch of rewards. But sim battles are not also for everyone. Sim battles not only require a lot of skill, but it also requires a lot of experience with War Thunder. For one, you really have to know what your plane can and can't do. This is because sim battles is kinda unforgiving. Sure, there's some things that can kind of hold your hand when you're flying, but more or less, everything you do is on you. In an air sim, you really have to know your aircraft. Because if there is one thing in air sim that you don't get any help with, okay, I take that back, you might get some help, is the fact that you need to know that the person you're shooting at is either a friendly or an enemy. Friendly fire in air sim is very common. Usually, this is because a lot of players will mistake an, a friendly aircraft as an enemy aircraft. Now, there are some ways you can get around this, such as using your radar to IFF the target, and if it comes back as a friendly, then don't shoot at them. But even then, sometimes when you don't want to use your radar, you have to get up close and personal and visually identify what you're shooting at. And if you don't know your planes very well, this can be very difficult. Oh, and did I mention you're stuck in the cockpit view for the entire time? Yeah, so if you're in a plane that has really poor rear visibility, you're gonna have a lot of fun. But if you can look past all of that, then Airsim can actually be pretty fun, and a lot of times really chill. Anyways, I won't bore you with any more details, so let's go see what Airsim is like. So our match begun and we decided that we were going to do ground pounding for this entire match. Mainly because ground pounding tends to be a little easier than actually going out and searching for enemy aircraft, going into a dogfight, chain them down, all that good stuff. After a little bit of flying, I decided to throw away that whole we're only doing ground pounding thing because I spotted something out in the distance. As I got closer, it became more apparent that what I was looking at was an F4 Phantom, which we didn't have any on our team. So I used my plane's crazy turn ability to swing the nose around and get behind it. After getting behind the F4 Phantom, I fired my first missile, which ended up going to somewhere, I don't know where it went. But then I quickly fired off a second missile because he was behind my friend. And this one connected. And there was my first kill of the match. We carried on to the bases we were gonna hit, launched all our rockets, and then began heading home. When I got back to base, I attempted a landing, and then, well... Yeah, that could have gone better. But since you get unlimited respawns in sim battles, I just respawned and took off again. On my second run, me and my friend decided that we'd try and sink an enemy carrier. And, well, the rockets we had didn't really do much. To save myself some time from having to fly back to base again, I just jade out and then respawned. Again, I hit another base with rockets.
And then something honestly really funny happens. As I was chasing down an enemy, I heard a sonic boom next to me and decided to look to see what it was. And wouldn't you know it, an enemy phantom was literally flying parallel with me and didn't notice me. Well, that was an easy kill. I then noticed one of my teammates was having trouble with yet another phantom. So, I came in to help him out. With the phantom shot down and my teammate safe, now it was finally time to start heading home. Oh my- Oh, great. Okay, so as much as I really like flying the J-35, there is a very big issue with this plane. Remember when I said that this plane was at 10-7? Well, that's a really big issue for this plane, because this plane lacks any sort of RWR. And guess what a lot of planes at this BR have? If you said radar missiles, you would be wrong. Correct! Because of this, while playing sim battles, War Thunder becomes an actual horror game. Bazinga! Yeah, so dealing with radar missiles isn't exactly very fun. After getting hit by that missile, I was kind of surprised that I hadn't died yet, and that my plane was still flyable. Now, I could have ran home and tried to repair, but there were some things that were preventing me from doing that. Not only did I now have to defend myself from an F-14, there was also an F-4E that was around the area, and so that kind of locked me into this really long dogfight. I kinda had to work for that one because of all the damage of my aircraft. Now with that F4E down and the F14 having gone somewhere, I don't know where, it was time for me to head back to base and get some repairs. After taking back off, I noticed that there was an enemy aircraft flying around my airfield. So I decided to give chase and take him down. Finding the guy was relatively easy because I just followed the smoke trails from my airfield SAM sites, and soon enough, I was right behind him. Well, that's another easy kill. After that, I got hit by another radar missile, which led to a very brief dogfight, resulting in me losing the guy. I hit another base. And then I got team killed. Fun.
At this point into the match, we have gotten to the part where things are just kinda slow. All I was really doing at this point was just going to enemy bases, hitting them with my rockets, going back to base, and repeating that. I did manage to get into another dogfight with an F-14, and well, here's how it went. You know, given the fact that I've been doing all of this on a mouse and keyboard, I'd say I did pretty well there. At this point, the match was coming to a close. My team's tickets had been drained, and most of the players in the match had left the game. As I climbed high up into the sky, I looked over and enjoyed a wonderful sight. While we didn't end up winning the match, I still walked away with my pockets full of silver lions. So, do I think sim battles are worth it? Well, to be honest, I probably made more RP in SL in this single, albeit very long, simulator battle than I would have in a lot of realistic battles. Again, sim battles aren't for everyone, but if you're looking to try them out or looking for a new way to grind, then definitely give sim battles a try.